Good morning everyone and welcome to Saturday Stories with Emily Who. <laughs> I hope you've had a really good week and you're about to have a really good weekend. Um, starting off with a story and today I am reading a book by a very special author who wrote this book, The Ark in the Park, which I read when I was little. In fact, this was one of my very first chapter books called Ark in the Park by Wendy Orr. And um, so I'm not going to read this chapter book because it might take a little bit too long, but let me know if one day you'd like me to, because I'd love to share it with you. But I've had this for my whole life, this book. Instead, today I'm reading another book by her called The Princess and the Panther by Wendy Orr and it's illustrated by Lauren Stringer. And Wendy Orr also wrote Nim's Island, so maybe you know that. <laughs> Ready? One afternoon, a princess and her panther crossed the desert sand. The princess was brave and the panther tried to be. Look, <laughs> there's the princess. Oh, and there's the panther in their desert sand going on an adventure. The panther drank from the waters of a wide blue lake. While under a tree in the dark, deep woods, the princess pitched her red silk tent. The princess and her panther watched the clouds turned to gold. Oh, are they beautiful? The princess was brave and the panther tried to be. Look, what else can you see? Meow. And rub. The sky grew purple. Okay, hopefully you can still hear me. It just said it paused. The sky grew purple and the world turned black. And as far as they could see, there was nothing but night. <gasps> Big adventure in the dark. The princess was brave and the panther tried to be. <gasps> Look, she's got a little cuddly toy. That can help sometimes if you're feeling maybe a little bit scared to cuddle up with your favorite toy. The princess lit a lantern so its light shone bright into the shadows of the red silk tent. Then the light grew small and was swallowed by the night. The princess was brave and the panther tried to be. Then they heard a soft shivering, a hiss Slippering of leaf snakes slithering across the tent in their night. The princess was brave and the panther tried to be. Then they heard a to-wooing, a screechy hoo-hooing of an owl witch swooping through the sky in the night. The princess was brave and the panther tried to be. To-woo-doo, to -woo -doo. Then they heard a throaty moaning, a croaky groaning robot of a frog monster roaming the lake in the night. The princess was brave and the panther, panther tried to be robot, robot. Then they heard poor steps lumping, a pant, pant lumping of a great dog. Woof, woof. Wolf hunting up the path in the night. And then the princess was brave and the panther was too. 
<gasps> and just like that, the wolf ran away with a surprised bark. Woof, woof, woof. And the monster and the witch and the slithery snakes vanished from the dark. Robert, Robert. Doo -doo, doo -doo. <laughs> I think the dog got a bit of a fright. <laughs> Then the princess and her panther turned back to their tent. The princess said good night. The panther closed her eyes and the full moon smiled as it shone in soft light on two sisters sleeping in their tent one night. And look, they're actually in a tent in their backyard. <laughs> oh, looks like they've got some delicious food there. And that's the end of the story of the princess and the panther. I hope, I hope you liked that one and you didn't get too scared. They were just using their imagination of all of the different things that were outside in their back garden. Maybe you like, might like to go on an adventure in your back garden. Or maybe you might like to go for a walk around your neighborhood and see what you can imagine or what kind of adventures you can go on. I hope you liked that story. And um, don't forget, I have lots of new videos coming out at the moment. I've been busy doing lots of filming. So um, head over to my YouTube channel because there's lots of new stuff coming out there. Um, but I'll see you next week for more Saturday Stories with Emily Who. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.